if you are trying to create this style of text without any 3D knowledge, like I don't have any 3D knowledge, I'm able to create these cool looking things, you have come to the right video because I'm going to show you how to create this completely for free so you don't have to pay anybody and you don't even need to know 3D or Blender or anything like that. You're able to do this on your own computer completely for free. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to click the second link in the description because we're going to need to install Blockbench. Now, don't worry, Blockbench is safe and it's free to install. And this is the software that is going to allow us to create those texts. And if you have no idea how to model in 3D or how to design in 3D, don't worry because this is pretty easy. Guys, I have no idea how to work with 3D and I was able to use this right away. This is super simple. So go ahead and click on that second link in the description or you could go to Google and search Blockbench and then head over to this page and then just click downloading here. Once you're over here, select obviously your operating system and then click on the installer. I'm going to do this for Windows. I'm going to click installer and I'll begin the download for the installer of Blockbench. Once you have the installer, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop. Now, if you don't find your Blockbench file here in your browser like I did, you can probably find it within your downloads folder in your computer. Once you have Blockbench in your desktop, I want you to go ahead and open the installer by double clicking on it. Wait for it to load. And as you can see, the installing will begin. It might take a little bit depending on your computer, but after it has been installed, Blockbench will open. Now I have to let you know that I have already installed Blockbench in the past. So if this is the first time you're opening Blockbench, you might see a little thing in here saying like a tutorial or something. You could just go ahead and skip that. And what we're going to do next is use the Minecraft title plugin. Now by default, you won't have the Minecraft title plugin. So that is something that you're going to have to add yourself. Off, but don't worry because to add the Minecraft title plugin, which is going to allow us to create those 3D text models, we're going to click over here where it says file. Then we're going to click where it says plugins right here. And then you're going to search for the Minecraft title generator. As you can see here, you're going to find the Minecraft title generator and you're going to install it. You're going to have an option here that says to install. Once you find it, obviously you're going to have to search for it in the available as I already have it installed. It doesn't show in the available section. And then you're going to go ahead and install it. Once you have the Minecraft title generator installed, go ahead and find it here under your Minecraft section. By the way, you also have multiple options in here, but just go ahead and find the Minecraft title, click on it and then click where it says create new Minecraft title. That'll bring you over here. And the first thing that you're going to put in here is the top text or the text that goes above. If we look at our example, as you can see, I have a text on the top and I have a text on the bottom. So the first thing you want to add in here is a text that is going to go on the top. And you could also change that if you don't want to add the top text first, you could always change it in here. As you can see where it says, you could always change it to the bottom if you don't want to put it on the top. But I'm going to go ahead and add the top one and we're going to put example. And then you're going to select the font in here. Actually, I'm going to put Minecraft. Why not? Let's go ahead and put Minecraft just in here. But I'm putting Minecraft and now select the text that you want. You could always look at an example of it. If you click over here where it says texture, it's going to show you the example of the text that you selected. So, for example, if I select this text in here and I go over to texture, it's going to change the text, as you can see. And you could try that out with different text in here, right? So go ahead and select the text. I'm going to select the Minecraft 10, which is the default text. And I'm going to head over to texture. And now here you're going to change the texture that you want. And as you can see, you have so many options. You have so many options and those options themselves also have variants. So you could scroll down after you select the option in here and you could change the variant. As you can see, you could have flowers or like this is an example, right? For this one, but you can select the one that you want. I'm going to go ahead and select the default Minecraft text, which is the cracked one or the one for the default logo. And we're going to select just the crack pixelated, the old version in here. So it looks like the older one and you have multiple options in here. You could go over to overlay and you could play around with the lighting. You could play around with the cracks. You could just play around with the things in general here on the overlay. You could change the style. So if you want to play with the colors, the saturation, obviously you could always come here and play around with it as well. And you also have the settings in here, which is a little bit more advanced. And I don't recommend you change anything in here because all we need by default is just to select a text, typing what we want, select the font and then select the texture and that's it. Once you have the text that you want it and it looks how you want it, right? We put Minecraft, we have the texture that you want. You're going to go ahead and click where it says finish down here. And that is going to add the text in here. Now you already are ready to export this as a photo. As you can see, we have a 3D model in here and you might be wondering, well, I don't want to edit 3D or anything. But if you already want to export this, you are ready. And all you have to do is click where it says render and then click on this little icon down here, which is going to position this perfectly. And you could export this as a single photo. And guys, before we keep going, just remember that Apex Hosting is still giving you 25% off your first Minecraft server if you use the first link in the description. But obviously we want to do the whole thing where we add a text below as well. So what we're going to do next to add a text below this is click on this little text icon in here that says add Minecraft title text. 
Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to type the second text. For this text, I'm going to type it's Cuba. Why not? Which is the name of our channel. And then you're going to select bottom for this one. So you're going to put bottom and that is going to put it below. As you can see, this one down here is going to be the bottom one. You also have the a small option, which is a different one. I'm going to show you that in a bit. First, I'm going to select the bottom one. And for the bottom text, I actually want to select a different color. So I'm going to select more of this color. You know, it's like a purple, pinkish. I don't know. Just select the font that you want as well. Again, feel free to play with everything. Just make sure you put it on the bottom and then go ahead and click finish. And as you can see, that text gets down there. Obviously, this angle looks a bit weird, but if we wanted to get this out as a photo for a logo, we could just head over to render right here on the top right and then make sure you press this little icon in here which will always place it perfectly for a photo and then you could select the quality in here like for example if i want to export it as a 2k photo and then you click on this little icon in here which is going to start the rendering depending on your computer and stuff is going to take less or longer and then you're going to click save render and that is going to save as a png file which is a photo file and you could add it to other things later on now before i go ahead and save this before i go ahead and save this i actually want to show you something else if you pay attention to our example photo which is this one right here this doesn't look like the photo in here this style in here has this kind of different angle where the hqa text is below and it's like longer and in here it looks a little bit different right so if you want to achieve the same result as me you have to do stuff differently here so what you're going to do is come over here and instead of adding the text down there the way I added it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. Actually, you're going to click on add text and then you're going to type whatever text that you want. And instead of putting it on the bottom, you're going to put it on the top as well, just as I put mine in there. Then you're going to select the texture and everything else how you want it. I'm actually going to change it this time and then you're going to click finish, right? That is going to put it right above the Minecraft text. So what you're going to do now is select this green arrow and just push down until this is located wherever you wanted it. And now you could render it, right? So you're going to locate it, obviously, whatever you want. And then you're going to click render. And now you're going to get that different effect, which is the text right below it. So that is up to you how you want to do it. You could play with this as much as you want. Something that you could do, for example, is export every layer independently. So maybe you want to export this first and then you want to export the second text later. And then later on, you could play with this in Photoshop and you could put one on top one below however you want to do it but definitely this is an amazing free tool that everybody gets to use now and then before we keep going i actually want to show you what the small version does in here so first i'm going to add the it's cuba and i'm going to put it on the bottom again so let's go ahead and add it's cuba and let's add more text so it looks even better let's put it's cuba media and then let's click finish so now it will even look even better as you can see in there and now let's go ahead and add the small text so you can see what it does so if you head over over here and you change it to small and let's put in here subscribe and let's just hope that's how you spell subscribe i'm actually going to select this style of text in here and like i said you could always play around with the texture you could play around with the colors you could change everything in here guys you could literally change everything let's put it red which is already default so i'm gonna leave it in red and then i'm gonna click finish and as you can see that one goes right there so that's where the small one goes and if we head over to render now and we put this in position that's how it looks and, and come on tell me that doesn't look amazing this literally looks amazing and there's people charging you money for this on fiverr so if you try to get this done professionally on fiverr people will charge you money and you could do it yourself for free super super simple and if we wanted to export it all we have to do is click on this little camera in here after we position it Click on the camera, wait for the render to be done, and then just save render, and then just save it wherever you want to save it. As you can see, I have it right here, so I'm going to go ahead and save it just in there. And now you can go ahead and find your file, and now you have a professional title for your mod packs, for your server, for whatever you want to create, right? Even for a logo, for a channel, a banner, whatever it is that you're trying to create. Anyways, that has been everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. All credits due to whoever created this plugin for the block bench program whoever created this plugin is amazing and it's going to change the way we work for a lot of us minecraft content creators anyways as always i'll see you next time